Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a journal of tarot reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading might resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, this will be a general love tarot reading. I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. Before I do go ahead and get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Taurus, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading let's check in on the energy that we do have coming towards you in regards to love can we please get a few cards for taurus what energy is currently surrounding taurus when it comes to love okay we have the lovers card taurus first card that came out so some gemini energy here let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Taurus in regards to the lover's card. Who's this person that cur that Taurus, sorry, is dealing with currently? We have the moon card, Cancer energy. How does this person feel towards Taurus with the lovers in the moon card? What are their true feelings and emotions? We have the nine of wands as well. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Taurus regarding this energy. What does Taurus need to know? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Can we please get one more card for now in regards to the Nine of Wands? Okay, we also have the Chariot. We'll actually just get one more card please for Taurus. Okay, and the King of Wands. So Taurus, uh, to get started, we do have the Lover's card, the Moon card, the Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the King of Wands. So Taurus, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, or actions that I'm describing from your person, that could be how you feel. Even little bits and pieces of what I'm describing, the roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. So Taurus, I feel like there's this person you're dealing with, maybe somebody new coming towards you, but they they know that they want to go towards you. They, they are listening to their emotions, they're acknowledging their feelings, their intuition about you, Taurus, and they feel like you are a divine being. So they, they want to lock in with you, Taurus, with the lovers in the moon card. You are on this person's mind. I feel like they daydream about you or they have dreams about you, but there's nothing that is pulling them back from showing the love that they, they want to provide and give to you. Um, they feel like you're that, that missing puzzle piece, uh, just knowing that there's huge potential and them just wanting to lock in on that as soon as possible also with the king of wands this person pursuing you the chariot as well like leading with their heart and their mind is also telling them and making them feel as though you are a good person for them or you are the one taurus um, they feel like this is destined to be also with the lovers in the moon card. Um, I'm going to use this like this, this phrase. It's not really a phrase, but just how they feel it's divine towards. They feel like this was sent to them, like you were sent to them or 
they found you for a reason they met you for a reason and I'm gonna get into more of this energy in a moment but maybe this person Taurus they've they've dated a lot or they they've just had their fair share of getting to know people and really knowing what they're looking for and when you come across it you you know that that's what it is you you feel it and sometimes when we come across it we do we do second guess it so i do feel like there is some of that energy taurus but it might be your energy taurus the roles could be reversed but someone just wants to come together mesh as two people combine lives also but maintain that that independence and individuality and just grow and bloom and experience with one another so it's like this person knows in their heart deep down that their feelings are are for you or towards you but i feel like maybe you taurus like you may have had people fall in love with your grace your energy this energy might be familiar to you Taurus and if it is familiar to you and you have experienced people showing you their love but then further down the line something happens something makes you wish you would have stuck to having your guard up or maybe even your intuition you might be protective of your energy and just not showing who you are right away to this person and that's that's a a common Taurus thing just me speaking from a Taurus perspective we know that not everyone deserves to see who we really are that doesn't mean that we should hold back but we we know that for a reason and it's because we are valuable people as everyone but we cannot just give all the love that we want to give without a person really showing themselves through time so we do have the nine of wands taurus this person's energy might be too good to be true uh especially if there hasn't like this is a new person coming towards you you need to let time reveal things and let this person prove themselves through consistency so you're not going to let all your emotions and love be be known right away we do have the knight of wands Taurus. i feel like this is your energy just being guarded um maybe even paying attention to this person like having your eyes on them not not in the way that you know that they're going to do something to mess this up, but just in case they do. You don't want somebody to get over on you, Taurus. But I, so far, I don't feel like this is this person's intentions. They, they see something bigger within this connection and they, they feel something bigger is going to come out of it. They're ready to move forward with the moon card, also the chariot. So cancer energy this person is very in tune with their emotions they're following their heart um and they want to offer you something based off of loyalty security uh something grounded so they're they're just as interested as making you comfortable to trust them Taurus, with the ace of pentacles i i do feel like this is a person who knows that you are worth all the time and attention to devote their time and attention to and to make you more open and receptive to their energy i just feel like you taurus you're you're not just falling in love with the first impression of this person the chariot taurus this person is ready to move forward with you um their their emotions are in this connection they're in you and also they're they're confident as well but not letting that that ego be ignorant if that makes sense or not letting their ego take over we do have the king of wands i feel like this is this can represent ego but it's more of um 
this person really going towards what they want and being confident about pursuing you here Taurus but let's go ahead and get a few more cards Taurus for this energy what else does Taurus need to know about this person's true feelings their emotions and their actions what else does this person want to show Taurus? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Can we please get a few more cards for Taurus in regards to the Seven of Pentacles? We have the Six of Cups. All right, what else does Taurus need to know with the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, please? Knight of Cups. All right, Taurus, we're just going to go ahead and get one more card for Taurus. Okay, Taurus, so two cards came out. We have the Six of Swords and the Two of Swords. All right, Taurus, so last few cards, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, and we also have the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords. Let's just see, at, see what we have, sorry, at the bottom of the deck. We have Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Devil, and the Star card. Star card, maybe a potential soulmate connection, but I'm going to throw out a theme that I got with the rest of the energy. This could be right person, wrong time for some of my Tauruses out there. Remember, roles could be reversed. Taurus, I, I do feel like with this person, Taurus, if you are healing from a past connection or you're maybe just focusing on yourself right now, um, I feel like you would like to take things very slow and this person it's like they're willing to do that because they do want you Taurus um, but for some of my Tauruses out there I do feel like you might talk yourself out of getting to know this person and of course that's completely up to you um, but I do feel like speaking from a Taurus perspective again um, sometimes like somebody could let themselves be known and there's nothing wrong with them but us Tauruses just aren't the most interested because we're more interested in what we have going on for ourselves and that could simply be just like us doing our own thing us being comfortable comfortable and not wanting to um put any energy into getting to know a person from the start. So that might be where you're at, Taurus. There might also be some things that you are healing from that you need to, in a way, get over with the Nine of Wands. Just becoming more grounded with yourself and sometimes another person's energy, good or bad, it could get, get messy. So for you, Taurus, you might have two different options here you always have options but two of swords following your heart how you feel or maybe um taking a different avenue or going with something unknown and the unknown could be seeing where it goes with this person six of swords towards this person is willing to understand you no, ma no matter how hard it is or no matter how how complicated it might get they're willing to leave leave whatever in the past or hear you out in order for it to be left alone and for you to start new together but seven of pentacles towards this person or this connection maybe is going to happen through time this person might become a little bit impatient just hoping that it takes off in the way where they want it to take off but i i feel like you taurus you're you're guarded right now and you don't want to jump into anything right away you might appreciate having this person as a friend first before anything else so i feel like through time and consistency that's when this person is going to feel more rewarded of your love not 
that you're just holding out or you're disciplining them but that's when you're going to start to show the love that you can give and it's only going to be a little bit of a fraction of it so six of cups and the knight of cups once this person maybe really proves who they are to you and that they really want something bigger and something more with you i feel like that's when you Taurus, you're going to start to develop more of a emotional relationship with this person and that's when this person is going to experience your love all right taurus last but not least let let's see what sign you might be dealing with can we please get a sign for taurus sun moon rising venus please cancer we do have some cancer energy virgo aquarius Go ahead and get one more sign for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Leo. We also had some Gemini with the Lovers card here. But Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.